Hi everyone, uh, today I am here to demonstrate you that how can you enroll a Apple device, uh, especially an iPhone or a iPad to Microsoft Intune, right? Now I don't have a business subscription here or a school, uh, Apple school account. So I just have a single device. So I'll just uh, demonstrate you how you can enroll a single device to Microsoft Intune, an Apple device. Of course, if you have a dedicated uh, business account or a school account uh, with Apple, you can definitely uh, use other automatic enrollment ways of uh, enrolling your tens or hundreds of Apple devices to Microsoft Intune. For now, I'm just going to demonstrate you the one device. Okay, so uh, first of all, guys, I am going to use uh, one of my user accounts here uh, with Ben, right? Ben user has been assigned with the enterprise mobility and in uh, security E5 license. So he does have the Intune license. Apart from that, let's just make sure that uh, in the Azure Active Directory, we have uh, allowed Ben to be able to enroll devices in Azure AD. So you can always go to Azure Active Directory, go to the devices and under device settings, make sure that uh, Ben have been or the user, the targeted user is being allowed to join or register the device, right? Now let's come to the endpoint manager or the Microsoft Intune portal. And from here, let's go to devices. And from here, I am going to go to enroll devices. Guys, for enrolling an Apple device, the very first thing which you need to be aware of or uh, the very first configuration which you need to make is to enroll or go for a certificate. Now guys, the certificate can be enrolled from a Microsoft, uh, oh, sorry, a Apple website. So I am here going to use my Apple ID right remember that you also should have an apple id if you don't have you can always create one and uh, use this particular url here if you need the url you can ask me in the comment box i'll give you the url if you don't have that but you log in with your apple id here and uh, you will be able to generate the uh, the certificate Without this certificate, guys, your Apple enrollment will never be successful. Anyways, you cannot even uh, go with the enrollment. It will always and always return you with the error if you do not have the certificate. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, go to the Intune portal again. And from here, from the Microsoft Intune portal under, under Apple enrollment, we click on the Apple MDM push certificate and this page will open on the right hand side. Click on I agree and download the certificate signing request. Guys, this certificate signing request is very important since this is the one which will give you or issue you the certificate. Now, let me go to the Intune portal, uh, sorry, the Apple portal and from here, let's click on create a certificate. Agree to the license terms and click on accept and let me select the certificate file which I just downloaded. See this is the one which I just downloaded with today's date and uh, the time of just right now. Let's click on open and click on upload. It won't take more than a few seconds for the certificate to get generated. So let me download the certificate and it has been downloaded with the name of MDM Microsoft Corporation Certificate dot PEM. Let's go to the go back to the endpoint manager and uh, here I am going to mention 
my apple id so guys my apple id is my gmail account and let's upload the certificate here that is my certificate and let's click on upload once i am able to upload the certificate i should be able to observe the uh, guys i hope you can observe the service became active plus my apple id was visible here and even apart from that the configurations here are visible moreover guys i just want you to observe as of now i do not have any kind of ios or apple device on this machine here not even in the intune portal and not even in the azure active directory so guys now i am going to shift uh, my recording to the uh, to my ipad device right so let's start uh, on the apple device now so guys uh, i'm although speaking here but i am side by side also working on my apple device here on my apple device i am going to go to the apple store and uh, in the apple store i will download the application guys the name of the application is company portal we will download this particular application on my ipad device and uh, from this application we will enroll the ben's account right the user ben his account from uh, for the ipad now guys as you can observe on the screen the company portal app is installed i'm going to click on open here and now i am going to log in from the uh, ben's account and let me click on sign in with another account here and i'm going to click on continue and i will log in via ben's account so it is ben at the rate chavi k dot co guys that is the user account which i have been uh, using right for all my videos uh, here so i just want you to remember that is the account now i'm going to type the password for uh, ben's account so let me type that and uh, it is it's it's a bit complex password and i click on sign in here after typing the password and it is getting logged in now now guys as you can observe that uh, ben got logged in but we still have some uh, extra configuration to do so just remember one thing uh, when you try to enroll an apple device like this there will be an extra profile in your ipad which will be created apart from your apple id now i want you to observe here before i continue with the progress of the company portal just observe that in my settings app under general when i uh, observe on the uh, right hand side here just beside below the vpn option guys that is the uh, the fourth last option from the bottom if you can observe under vpn there is nothing as such which is called as the uh, profile right like a mdm profile or a profile with the name of my organization which is chavi kalra so uh, just observe that that nothing is there uh, anywhere below this vpn option right below this vpn option not the vpn so let me go back to the uh, company portal app and let's click on okay here and let's click on allow here and now we will set up access for the 
Chavi Kagra account or for Ben. Click on begin here and let's click on continue again. And now let's download the management profile. So basically when we download the management profile, the profile from Microsoft Intune gets downloaded to this iPad device or iOS device if there is which I have configured prior to registering this device. Most probably you would have configured the uh, whatever profiles or applications are there before creating or enrolling the device. But of course you can do that later on as well. Now, as soon as this login process will be completed, we should be able to observe in my Microsoft Intune portal that the iPad device is registered. Now, let's uh, click on OK here. And uh, so guys, my management profile is about to get downloaded now. And as you can see that it has got downloaded since my screen has already moved on now. And uh, I'll have to, I'll click on allow so that the profile is downloaded. And uh, also uh, I click on continue again. And now I will have to go to the settings app again. And in the settings app, I want you to observe that now under the VPN option, there is a profile option. Guys, I hope you can observe on the screen right here. The profile option is there. See, I'm long pressing it so you can observe it here. You click on profile. The management profile is there on the right hand side. You click on it and on the top right corner, we click on install. I'll enter my passcode of this uh, iPad device of mine and we are going to install the profile. It should not take more than a few seconds to install the profile. Moreover, while the profile is getting installed, basically some of the certificates are getting installed on this device so that the device can uh, trust the Microsoft Azure Active Directory and also Microsoft Intune. So let's click on trust here and uh, the certificate is getting enrolled and uh, finally the device should get registered with Azure Active Directory and also enrolled in Intune. Guys, we are done here. Let's click on done on the right hand side and that's it. After we are done, I hope you can observe under the management profile the name of my company which is Chavi Kalra is visible there right now let's go back to the company portal app and let's click on continue since i and as you can observe even without clicking on continue it moved on let's click on done and guys my device is installed now guys i am moving back my screen to the microsoft uh, azure portal sorry, Microsoft Intune and the Azure Active Directory portal just to uh, make you observe that uh, we are done with the registration of an iPad device. Guys, I hope you can observe it on the screen that there is an iPad device which I just enrolled. Right? You can also confirm it with the time. Uh, uh, I guess that is the time which is right now seems to be a few seconds away anyways and also observe the device not only in Azure AD but also observe it in the Microsoft Intune portal and it is not yet there but it should not take more than a few seconds for the device to be visible in the in tune portal let's try to refresh the screen and guys i just want you to observe that in the intune portal under the devices section i can see my ipad device right you can click on the device and go on and observe 
the settings of the device right that's it guys if you have any questions kindly comment in the comment box and i will be more you're most welcome and i'll be obliged to reply thank you